Since the introduction of the bandit camp and the outpost, we've been able to buy and sell items in game. But what if we wanted to buy and sell more items than what's available in those two locations? Well, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. And we're going to get started on that right now. Using a plugin from the UMod website called Shop GUI, we're actually able to create a custom list of items that can be bought or sold. And we can also determine at what value they're bought and sold at. And as always, I'll post a, a link to the plugin in the video description down below. All right, let's jump into our test server and play around with this plugin a little bit and see what we can't create. So here we are at the UMod website uh, at the GUI shop. And you can see here it requires economics, which basically is a way of your players of earning money so that they have money to spend in the shop. Uh, it also works with fancy drop and rust kits. Um, you can there's a there's a couple of used by plugins, uh, item cost calculator, no escape and zone manager. And I'll quickly explain uh, why they have these three plugins in here. So the item cost calculator, when you're deciding how much to uh, sell things for in your shop, uh, it can be a little bit tricky and you'll see once we actually get into it, it it does get a little bit extensive um and the item cost calculator basically takes all of the the math and the figuring out of it for you um i can actually i might actually do a tutorial on item cost calculator because it is a valuable tool and it is going to save you a bit of time so if you guys want to see that make sure you leave a comment down below the reason why they use no escape as one of the dependencies for this plugin, and it's an optional dependency, it doesn't have to be there. Uh, anyway, the reason why they do that is so that if somebody's being attacked or or damaged in some way, it makes it so that they can't access the shop, which basically means they're not able to quickly jump into the shop, type slash shop, and buy a gun so that they can defend themselves. And the zone manager plugin is listed there so that if you're creating an actual physical shop location where players are going to go to access the shop instead of using the chat command, zone manager allows you to create a protected zone around your physical shop location so that, you know, people can't go in there and get shot and have the stuff stolen that they that they just purchased from your shop or whatever there's a, a multitude of different reasons why you would use zone manager and I'm actually going to get into that in a future tutorial because we haven't done zone manager yet and it is a powerful plugin so I'm going to go ahead and install the shop GUI plugin onto our test server if this is your first time installing a plugin I'll post a YouTube card in the top right hand corner right now that you can access my tutorial on how to install plugins. I'm not actually going to show you the details on this video. I'm just going to do it real quick and then edit it out. So be sure to check out the video on how to install plugins and then make sure you come back to this video so that we can finish up with shop GUI. All right. So after having installed the economics plugin and then the shop GUI plugin, we can jump right in and see what we've ended up with. So here we are in our test server. And if we just do slash shop, this is going to bring up the default information that we get uh, as soon as we install the plugin. This is no changes made. This is exactly downloaded directly from the website and this is all you end up with and the reason why i'm telling you this is because you're not starting from scratch you're not starting with zero information which can be a little bit frustrating it's actually giving you a template that you can use to create the shop that you want to see on your server so if we head back over to the config folder and we open up gui shop you can actually see um Okay, so at the very top here, it's basically, it's just telling you all the different messages that you might be able to receive during your transactions while using the shop. The next section down below that is all of the items that you want to be able to buy or sell inside of your shop. This isn't actually determining what the player is going to see on screen when they type slash shop. This is just telling you what is available to put into the GUI. So in this section, we're just going to determine what item we want to sell and how much we want to sell it for. And if we're going to allow the, the player to sell their items back to the shop, we need to determine how much we're going to buy them back for. So we can just look at, we'll just have a look at the first one. So the apple, um, so we're making it so that we can sell the apple in our shop GUI and we're, we, we will sell them from the shop for one coin and we will also buy them back from the player for one coin so there's no profit to be made there but 
These are just default prices. I'm just telling you how this plugin works. If we have a look at the next item down, it's the assault rifle or AK. And we can, by default, we can buy this item from the shop for 10 coins and we can sell this item to the shop for eight coins. So we're actually, there's a loss of two coins there. And you're going to want to adjust these prices so that it makes sense for your server. It's very, very important. If you're running a system where players are earning, you know, a thousand coins for every hour that they spend on your server, which is a separate plugin, but it is possible to do. Uh, basically, what that translates to for every hour that they spend on the server, they're able to buy 100 AKs from your shop. And you can see how that would very quickly change the balance of the game. This could be known as a glitch or an exploit in your shop. So you have to be very careful with the pricing that you set for the items that you sell in your shop. You have to think that you're creating an economy, an economy that doesn't exist in the game right now. So you could very easily offset the balance of the game if you get your pricing wrong. So it's important to pay attention to these details. So from default, we have the four items. And basically the reason why they put that in there is just so that you can see the syntax of how you need to put this information into the plugin so that it can be used later in the actual shop GUI. So we've got the apple, we've got the assault rifle, we've got the blueberries, and we've also got the bolt action rifle. So I'm gonna go through and add a bunch of items to this list so that we have more of a selection to pick from when we're building our different shops. And I'm actually gonna make this list available to you um, in a link format or something like that in the video description so that you don't have to spend the time that I'm about to spend uh, creating the list of available items. All right, so as you can see now, our item list actually looks a quite a bit different than it used to. So we've got the four times scope, we've got the AK, we've got the bean can grenade, uh, bolt action rifle, blah, blah, blah. We've got, I don't know, probably hundreds of different items in here. Um, all of them have the image added to it so that we can actually see the image inside our shop GUI. Um, but there's, I don't know, hundreds of different items that we can now add to our shop GUI so that our players can actually buy or sell them. So if we flip over to gameplay, you can actually see now that there's uh, images next to our item description, um, which wasn't there before. And you can also see that the pricing has changed drastically. Now, like I said before, you need to adjust these prices so that it makes sense for your server. Don't necessarily just take the pricing that I give you on this list of items. So as you can see, now that we have our item list actually created with our buy and sell prices done, we can move on with the rest of the plugin. So as you can see down below that, the shop is now broken up into categories. So we've got ammunition, we've got attire, we've got commands, components, construction, and so on and so forth. But in order to actually see that in the plugin, when you type slash shop, you need to actually turn something on down below at the very bottom of the plugin. You want this, uh, this line down here called show categories from default. This is set to false. You want to change that to true and save your config file and reload the plugin. Once we've done that, this is now what our shop looks like. So now it's broken down into categories and we're going to go into detail on how to change which items are in these different categories. I'm actually gonna remove the command section because I'm probably not gonna cover that in any of my tutorials. Uh, but if you wanted to play around with it, you can. Basically what this does is it makes it so that your players can buy different commands uh, from your shop, meaning they could buy like a, you know, teleport to a certain location or um, there's a, a lot of different things that you could sell as a command. Um, it's not that it's difficult, it's just, it adds an aspect to the game that I really don't like. I don't like players being able to buy commands um, that they wouldn't normally have access to. I would much rather just give them the ability to access the command uh, via chat or whatever. I don't need them, or I don't want them to have to buy these commands. So I'm gonna take that out. All right, so unfortunately I'm not able to take the commands icon off of the off of the shop GUI. So I'm just gonna take the items out of it so that it doesn't show 
anything available for purchase in there even though right now it just shows the ak and the where is it shows the AK and the assault rifle available for purchase in the command. So I'm just going to take those out. All right. So as you can see, when we click on the commands, uh, nothing shows up for purchase or sale. And then if we carry on to weapons and construction and stuff like that, all of these items are still available in there. And we're going to go back into our config file and actually determine which things are available for which category. It's at this point that things are going to start getting a little bit annoying and tedious. So I'm actually going to be editing a lot of the the movements and stuff like that out of the video so that it keeps it relatively short for you guys. Um, but basically what you need to do is you need to pick the category that you want to work with right now. So uh, the next category on the GUI itself is weapons. So let's scroll down to weapons. This is the section of the shop that we're gonna deal with right now. And this is all I'm gonna deal with, but everything that I'm showing you in this section can be transferable to each different category. So whether that be attire or clothing, uh, tools, medical, food, whatever, you can transfer the information that I'm gonna show you in this section here to all the different categories. I hope that makes sense. So what weapons do we want our players to be able to buy from our shop well from default we have the assault rifle and the bolt action rifle available for purchase and sale in the shop but let's say we want to add more let's see if we can go find a pistol that we added in previously so we've got the yoka pistol that's not good enough uh we've got the semi-automatic pistol okay so we need to copy this descriptor exactly as we determined it earlier and then we can go down below into our weapons category again, and we can add that. So uh, we do comma, go to the next line, quotation, quotation, and then we just put the semi-automatic pistol in between the quotations. And then we can save this and reload our plugin. And when we go back into the game and type slash shop in chat, we can now see that the semi-automatic pistol is available for purchase from our GUI. But because we only put it in the in the buy command, we're only able to buy it, we're not able to sell it. If we want to be able to sell it, we need to also put it in the sell section down below. So same thing, comma on the line before it, quotation, quotation, and then copy and paste the semi-automatic pistol on the next line. So you can see this is broken into buy and sell. So then we go back and we can save that and reload. And if we go back into game and type slash shop and click on the weapons category, now we can see that it's available for purchase as well as to sell it back to the shop. So I'm gonna go through and add a, a bunch of items to the varying different categories. I will be editing it out. So all you're gonna see is the finished product, but you're seeing basically how this is all working and how you can design your shop. Okay, so as you can see, I've added a bunch of more items to our list of available weapons that can be purchased from our shop. So I've only added most most of these items I've only added to the buy list. I didn't add it to the sell list because I wanted to show you something uh, kind of important that is just a really, really small detail, but it is something you need to be aware of. So at the top of the buy list, I put all of the weapon attachments that I could just quickly think of. I'm sure there's more out there. In fact, I can already see that there's more out there, but that's okay. I put all of the attachments at the top of the list because I wanted them to appear first when we open up the shop GUI in game. Um, but something interesting happened. I should have expected it to happen, but I didn't realize it was going to happen until I saw it in the game. And I just want to explain what I saw and why I saw it. So when we open up our shop GUI and we click on our weapons section, you can see that there's these three there's the AK, the bolt, and the semi-automatic pistol are showing up at the top of the list, even though the attachments are actually at the top of the list. And the reason why that happened is because we have the sell section as well. So as you can see in our config, we've got the AK, the bolt, and the semi-automatic pistol, pistol available to be sold back to the shop, which is why it's showing at the top of the list. If we take these three items out, which basically makes it so that your players can't sell them back to the shop, then it would show in this order here 
that we've got going on right now. So it's just a tiny little detail, but it might cause some frustration if you can't figure out why that's happening. If you have an item showing both in the buy and the sell column, it's gonna show up at the top of the list. It's gonna show above other items that you don't have available to sell back to the shop. All right, so that's the shop GUI plugin. Uh, it is available from the UMod web store. Now, I want to explain something to you. This is a complicated plugin. Mm, is it complicated? No, it's just a really big plugin. There's a lot of information that you have to put into it before you can get anything out of it. So be prepared to be frustrated when you're building this plugin for yourself, but don't get frustrated to the point where you give up on it because it, it can be a valuable tool to your servers and your players are going to love it. I promise you. If a player can just simply go into a shop and buy something rather than having to search all over the map to get it, they're going to love you for it. But keep in mind, pricing matters. Don't give this stuff away for free. It's going to completely change the dynamic of your server if you do. If somebody can go into a shop and buy an M249 for one coin, it's bad and it's really going to mess up your server. So like I said earlier in the video, I am gonna give you guys access to the list that I used for the items as well as for the pricing for it. You're gonna to need to go in and change the pricing so that it's more applicable for your server, but it is gonna save you some time getting the images and getting the items and stuff like that. The one warning that I'm gonna give you is this, the list that I'm gonna give you access to is not all inclusive of every single item that's in the game. I realized while I was doing this, that this is actually a really, really old version of the shop that I used like probably four years ago. Um, so you're gonna to need to add items to this list that I'm not, that I'm not gonna do because I don't actually use this plugin. Stuff like, the coffin is not available. All of the Halloween items are not available. Um, all of the electrical components are not on this list. There's weapons, there's the there's the L96, the M39. Um, there's, you know, I don't even think the LR was on that list. In fact, I, I'm sure that the LR is not on that list. So you can see how old this, this list is, but you can use the list that I'm gonna provide you with to give you the syntax of how it needs to appear on the plugin so that you can then later add it into your shop. All right, so if I still have your attention and if you haven't already done so, please subscribe if you wanna see more content just like this. This category that we're working on right now is going to turn into a really cool project um, and I can't wait for you guys to see it because it's actually pretty cool. But if you don't subscribe and turn on notification bells, you might not get notified as soon as those videos become available. So make sure you turn on the notifications. All right, that's it for this video. I hope this explains Shop GUI a little bit and gets you on your way to creating one for your own server. If you have any questions, as always, post them in the comment section down below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Today is actually Face Punch's forced wipe day. So as soon as I'm done with this video, I'm actually gonna go take all my servers down and push all the updates. I hope everyone's wipe goes smoothly. I hope everyone's update goes smoothly. Uh, we've got some exciting stuff coming into the game today. Spoiler alert, the new helicopter should be in in-game today. Vast amount of, of updates and changes, and it's going to be an exciting update. So I'm pretty pumped for it. I hope you guys are too. All right, that's enough blabbing from me. I hope to see you guys in the next video. Until then, have a great day. All right, this is the section where I get to shamelessly promote myself. So if you want to see some more videos, click on one of the links to the side here. And if you haven't already done so, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel.